about the typical lifestyle of a college student, you may think of late night dorm parties, weekend long events, hanging out with friends, going to the bars, or random activities on campus. But this common lifestyle is not a reality for those who have to drive 20 to 45 minutes just to get to class. College is just one aspect of a commuter's life. Many commuters commute because of their commitments they have back at home. I mean, I don't live on campus because I have a son. Um, I transferred to Whitewater, so I already kind of had my life set at home. Every minute counts when you have other commitments outside of college, so scheduling your classes wisely is key. When you're driving back and forth constantly, you don't want to have to be driving every day if you can help it. There's something about it, um, the drive wakes you up a bit. Though commuting may not be the easiest thing to do, it is manageable and necessary for those who live a life outside of college. Reporting for UWW-TV News, I'm Cassie Whiting. I'm standing just outside of Emanuel Church here in Janesville, Wisconsin, one of the many churches in the area that has a Celebrate Recovery program that meets every Thursday night from 6.30 to 8.30. The idea for Celebrate Recovery was sparked by a man named John Baker. Being a former alcoholic, Baker had a passion to create a safe atmosphere for people striving to rise above their struggles. But whether you're 50 years old suffering from alcoholism or 19 years old struggling with a shopping addiction, Celebrate Recovery has experienced leaders ready to take you under their wings and guide you to live in a healthier life. We found that with Jesus as the higher power, he's the one that actually kind of unlocks the whole process and makes it much more dynamic than just actually working the 12 steps. That's what this program is about, being able to come in with whatever you know your hurt, habit, hang up is and not being judged by anyone. Reporting from Emanuel Church in Janesville, I'm Cassie Whiting for UWW-TV News. Hello and thank you for tuning in to your UWW-TV News update. I'm Stacia Kulikowski. For a good majority of students here on campus, online classes have been a convenient way to earn the credits that you need. The event is free, and you can sign up by emailing UCOD at uww.edu. The men's team finished fourth, and the women's finished third. The swimming and diving team's next meet will be January 23rd in Appleton, Wisconsin. This afternoon, I was walking out of class, and I was just walking. I was um, in one of the art buildings, and I was looking at the art on the wall and walking, just doing my own thing, and I nearly fell to my death. I'm not even kidding. I tripped on a tack, a clear tack. Like, who does that? I don't even know. I don't, I have, I, I don't know. I guess I do. Um, kind of embarrassing. That's the story of my life. Okay, I believe you, but my Tommy gun don't. That is brand new, and they are fantastic. I love them so much. Before brand new, I played Thousand Foot Crutch and their song New Design, and before that, my favorite, A Day to Remember, and their cover version of Since You've Been Gone, because that is also very fantastic. Oh, man. These are my fight songs. Thank you for listening in. This is Cross the Road, C-Dubs here, and I'm feeling pretty good. I, I love sharing my music with you, listeners. It, it's got to be the highlight of my week, to be honest.